Hello and welcome to another video on working on a Volvo S40. Um, this one is the cabin filter or pollen filter. So I've got halfway through this one already. Uh, this is a bit of a fiddly one and easier to show it when it's all out. So I'll just stop showing you. This is the old one. Um, we've owned this car a little over a year. This is the first time we've changed it. You can see this thing picks up a lot of rubbish. So this is a well worthwhile one doing. Here's a nice new shiny replacement. So we'll start by getting this one out of the way. Now it's down in the passenger footwell. So work light advisable on this one, it's a bit hard to see. And down here, up under this kick plate, you'll see this slot here. That's where it goes in. This is the bar that sits in here and then clips up in. I can't quite do it with one hand I'm afraid. And that clips up in. But to remove it, you take this kick panel out, this panel sits in here, like this, and it's secured. You see the two screw holes there at the front, and they're just two normal Phillips screws down here. So that's just unscrew, unscrew the two fronts, that comes out, out the way. Undo this, which is just push that, this bit unhooks, down it comes, and out pull out the old filter and then hopefully slot the new filter back up in and it literally slots up in here this goes back in it is a bit fiddly to get back in uh, so there's no way I can do it with one hand I'm afraid clips that back up in there it needs to go forward another inch you can see and then reassemble one thing I will add I probably should have mentioned earlier you'll notice a lot of the filters have got these off grooves on this side that's so you can bend it to get it up round in you haven't actually got the clearance with the slope of the foot well, so you need to curve it and give him a wiggle to get him actually up into the housing. It will go eventually, but yeah, it's a bit of a fiddly job because you're sort of upside down in a foot well, but yeah, you can give him a bit of a curve to get him up in there. So there we can see him up in there. The slot there, clip at the front. You push right the way back up in there, and if you can see right at the back, I'm not sure I can point to it, sort of there, you'll see that's where the retaining bar's got to clip into. So uh, here you can see that retaining bar tucked in there nicely. Don't try and do what I always do, which is don't try and get that bit up inside here. It doesn't go, it does actually go on the outside, and then the latch holds it up. And then that's that back on, so it's then just a case of putting that kick plate back on with the two screws going across the front there. 